A lot of us hate to admit it, but we're pretty much attention seekers. I mean, it's the underlying reason why we do things like post on Instagram, swipe right on Tinder, and even start drama for no reason. But every now and then, some of us cross the line and attention seeking becomes harassment. So my stalker, or my heckler, or my harasser, or whatever you guys wanna call them, started messaging me a little bit over a week ago now, and it started off super, super friendly. But because I didn't recognize the number, I didn't really make it a priority to respond right away. So then another 20 or 30 minutes later, they ended up sending me about like three or four messages, and they were saying, respond please, I know this is your number, please respond, why aren't you responding? And I was just like, oh my God, I'm like what the heck, who is this? So I ended up finally deciding to respond, and I said something like, hey, I'm so sorry, I just just don't recognize your number, who is this? Then they would respond saying, it doesn't matter who this is, I just love your videos. <laughs> that was so weird. So I was just like, LOL, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate all the love. And I honestly thought that was gonna be the end of it, but it wasn't. In fact, now we're literally pulling a sting operation to try to catch this person. I'm sorry guys, but before you guys watch the operation that we pulled off, you guys have to know the full story. So let's take it back and start from the top. On Wednesday, November 21st, I decided to post this story on my Instagram. Hey guys, I know it's Thanksgiving weekends, but this Sunday, if you guys live in LA County or Orange County or close to there, and you guys want to do a Gold Digger video with us, email me, like with your phone number though, so we can call you up and we could do a video. I really, really wanted to meet you guys. And since it was almost Thanksgiving, I thought it was just perfect timing. And so Thanksgiving came and went. The food was really, really good, by the way. And then finally Saturday came. I got on my laptop, opened up my email, and I was actually pretty shocked to see how many of you guys actually reached out to me. Jesus Christ, there are a ton of messages. And so I began reading through the emails and choosing out the people that live closest to me to meet up with them. And then I called them. Hello? Hey, is this Maria? Yeah, who is this? This is Sergio. You watch my channel, uh, UD Catching Gold Diggers. Oh, yeah, I'm not to hi. Uh, what's up? I, I'm calling. Oh, <laughs> I'm calling. Oh, <laughs> After calling everyone I could, I finalized my list, and then the very next day, I set out with my team to go meet everyone up. All right, guys, so we made it to the first location of the day. We're meeting up with our first person. Her Woo! name is Maria. Oh, he's excited. Woo! Oh, he's excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be honest, guys. I was really nervous meeting you guys, but overall, it was a really great day. Hi. Hi, what's up? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> we even met a freaking cat that supposedly watches us, and then it scratched me. Ow! Ow! Oh! 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 <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it was a really cool day. We gave away a lot of merch, we gave away a lot of prop money, and even talked to some people that wanted to place someone they knew to the gold digger test. But I can't let you guys hear any of that just in case we actually test those people. All right, we got a small awesome shirt. Any takers, any takers. <laughs> this is so funny. This was the same girl that when I screamed like this, ow, ow, she told me this. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Ow. All right, but you guys are probably wondering why I'm even telling you guys about this day. Well, straight up, I'm telling you guys about it because one of these people sadly could be the person who is texting and harassing me. I'm gonna be 100% honest, guys. Originally, we were planning on uploading the video of us going around meeting everyone as its own separate standalone video. However, that idea was quickly scrapped after this harasser came into the picture for a very good reason. And by the way, I mentioned we because Denzel's actually here with me. It did. <laughs> <laughs> See, initially, when I first called up everyone, I called them unrestricted, meaning that that no one had my number. But then on the day that we met up with everyone, I decided to text them from my number, my actual and I personal. Don't know why. Really, and he, no one told you to do that. I told you to get an app. <laughs> you need a business phone. You don't and let me say this right now, I am not accusing anyone or I'm not saying that I'm 100% sure that one of these people is the heckler. Because I mean, granted, I have done videos with a lot of people that have my number and you guys can even say that I've made some enemies. So to be honest, it could be anyone. But the reason I can't exclude the people who I met up with on Sunday though is because the first text message that I received from the person who was texting me, I received after I met up with all of them. So yeah guys, we're basically doing this video because we wanna launch an operation to solve, expose, and confront this person who's been messaging me and harassing me. Hopefully it works, cause I Something is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna work, trust me. But before we can start this operation, you guys have to know the rest of the story still. So as you guys might have guessed, the messages did not stop coming in. I tried just ignoring the other person, but they kept and kept on just sending these creepy things. Finally, I would end up becoming just super annoyed and completely blocked and deleted the phone number off my phone. I mean, after doing this, you would think the person on the other line would get the memo, right? 
Well, unfortunately they didn't. I don't know if they got two phones. I don't know if they downloaded another text messaging app or whatever the hell they did, but they texted me again saying, wow, I can't believe you blocked me. Don't do that again with literal exclamation freaking marks. I love you, but you make me mad sometimes. And then in all freaking caps, I love you. Reply. In all caps, reply. So, I mean, you guys can see how this can be a never-ending cycle, right? I can block them, delete their number, but then they can just make a new one or get a new one and then text me over and over and over and over and over again until the day I die. I would delete my whole number. Well, I can't do that. I can only change my number. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, I've had my number for over eight years, and I don't want to have to change it, but at the same time, I don't want to live through hell. So with that being said, our operation begins. All right, this person messaging me clearly wants my attention, so I decided to give him more than just that. I ended up messaging them, telling them that I wanted to do a whole video around them to try to figure out their identity. And to no surprise, they were down for it. And so I told them that the fairest way to do this would have to be through a 21 yes or no question game that they had to answer honestly. To which they agreed, but also said that I can only ask them 10 questions, and I was completely okay with that. So I began by asking them five questions that would paint a picture of them and also help me figure out exactly how it was that they got my number. The first one I asked was, are you a boy? To which they responded, yes. The second one I asked was, are you of legal age? Meaning 18 years old. To which they responded, no. Then I asked them, have we ever met slash spoken in person before? To which they responded, no. The fourth question I asked them was, did you get my number from someone else who I physically know and speak to in person to this day? And they responded, yes. And finally, the last one I asked them was, is the person who gave you my number one of the people that I met on Sunday, November 20th? 25th when I gave them free merch and stuff and they responded no. So what does this tell us so far? So first off, we now know that it is a guy texting me. So that means suspects like her, 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 and all my other female friends are in the clear. Secondly, we know this guy's younger than 18 years old, which means that he's either in high school, junior high, or elementary school. So suspects like him, him, these guys, and 99% of the guys who have my number are in the clear. And the third question pretty much clears everyone who I met on Sunday, November 25th, because they all now have met me in person, and the heckler says that he doesn't know me in the flesh. But unfortunately, someone who does know me in person is responsible for all of this because the heckler lets me know that he got my phone number from someone who I personally know and still talk to to this day. But at least we know that he didn't get it from any of the people that we met up with on November 25th because the fifth question I ask 100% clears all of them. So what this also means is that it did not matter at all that I texted these people with my personal number. Because I can trust them all because they were all <laughs> I, I still would not do that. So someone that knows me in person and whom I still talk to to this day gave the heckler my number. So logically, if we can find out who this was, we can also find out who the heckler is. Oh, I like it. Like, like <laughs> so as opposed to taking out the dealer, we're going for the supplier. We're going for the source of the problem because the source takes us to the culprit. The corporate, okay. No, the cul culprit, not corporate, culprit. Yeah, I still hear corporate. <laughs> so I do still physically talk to a lot of people that have my number, which means that I have to start eliminating some. So I ask my sixth question. Do you and the person who gave you my number live within a 10 mile radius of the city of Fullerton? To which he responded, what does that mean exactly? And I took advantage of this, <laughs> of this naiveness. And I said, it means basically, do you live in the city of Fullerton or one of the next cities right over? To which he responded, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why he got confused. Though. Well, he's a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> so we now know that the heckler and the person who gave them my number both live either in Fullerton or one of the cities next to it. And for reference, these are those cities. So because of this new info, our list gets shortened. Now remember, the heckler said he was also under 18 years old. So I'm gonna just eliminate friends who don't have any younger family members members or friends who are under 18 years old. So that now leaves us with six. However, with three of these six, I could just never see their younger siblings doing this because they're either too shy, have no phone, or simply watch no YouTube, which means they wouldn't even know who I am. So now we're left with just three. And thankfully, two of these three people are actually my two older brothers. So I'm gonna eliminate them because worst comes to worst, I will interrogate my younger siblings anyway. So now we're left with just one. And this one person, I can 1000% see him giving my number to one of his younger friends or family members in order to mess with me. You know who I'm talking about, right? Uh-uh. Yes, you do. Maybe Kylo knows. No, it starts with, <laughs> starts with the M. Well, Kylo knows him too. Uh, starts with the M, M-A. Maria. Denzel, it's a freaking guy, not a girl. Martin. Hey, give me a guy's name. Martin. <laughs> oh. Martin. Martin.
All right, guys, we're currently FaceTiming our friend Martin, who we highly believe is responsible for this. Hey, hey you're being recorded right now, okay? Because we have something we want to ask you. We want you to be 100% honest. <laughs> You already look guilty, Martin. You already look guilty. <laughs> All right, this is my friend Martin. He's a really cool, nice guy, and I've known him for a very long time, but he's also a clown, and he likes to mess with everyone. We think that you gave someone my number and are telling them to bug me and text me nonstop and whatnot. And <laughs> Your personal number? Yeah, like my personal number. Someone. Wait, okay. What I wanna know is why why do you think it's me? What what is it about me? <laughs> because you're that Martin. Is, because you're Martin. <laughs> no, no, that's not me. You are positive. You, you have the wrong guy. <laughs> I just have a stalker. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's not you, one hundred percent. No, no, that's you not probably. me. You didn't tell someone to mess with me or give someone my number no, to no, mess I with me. No, I didn't. I didn't. For real. Do you have any uh, idea who? I mean, that's a good idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd be down to do that one day, but. Uh, <laughs> Somebody, somebody got smarter before I did. Damn, okay, so with my friend Martin cleared, there's really no other older friends who I can possibly think of, but just in case I'm missing someone, I ask my seventh question. Is the person you got my phone number from 18 years of age? And the heckler responds, no. This now changes everything. This new information now shortens my list even more because there are only four people in this entire world under the age of 18 who I know and talk to personally that have my phone number and could have given it to the heckler. They are my little brother, my little sister, my friend Michael, and my friend Arjun. One of them betrayed me, Denzi. Ah! One of them betrayed me and gave this person my number. But well, at least I know it's not Nikki. You don't think it was Nikki? I Nick? know, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so Denzel doesn't think my little sister Victoria is capable of this, but unfortunately they are all prime suspects at this time. They are all under 18, which means they have plenty of male friends that they could have given my number to that are also under 18 and haven't met me in person yet. So it's time to head over to them, interrogate them, and find out which one of them gave the heckler my number. I need to talk to you. Yes, about what? Come outside, I need to interrogate you. But it's so cool. Put a sweater on. Hey, Vicky. Hi. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> Do you know why you're here? No. You're being interrogated. You look suspicious. You look suspicious, right? Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Sorry, am I a prisoner? Are you guys taking me to jail right now? No, we're not. What? We're just interrogating so, you. I mean, I could leave at my free will, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, sir. You're being detained. You uh, freaking wait. liberal. I'm sorry. This is too much. I can't. This is too much time. What is this even about? You're, this is an interrogation. Or interrogation. What? I no. want you to be 100% honest here, okay? Have you given my phone number to someone else? No. She's lying. She's <laughs> laughing. Are you yeah, lying? She's laughing. <laughs> you have it. No. So let me rephrase my question. If someone offered you money for you to give them my phone number, would you give it to them? I'm not a gold digger, so I won't do that. <laughs> I'm about to play with him right now. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> so even though all three of them claimed that they wouldn't give my number to anyone, I did not believe them. So I asked them to prove their innocence by letting me check their phones to see if the number of the person who was texting me was in their phone. I also checked their phones for any third party texting apps and then also asked them if they recognized the number at all. And in the end, they were all cleared. So Michael is clean, Andrew is clean, and Victoria is clean. That means through process of elimination. Well, Arjun is not. Arjun has Arjun not. Arjun is not. So it has to be him. It has, has to. to be and him. And y'all even got freaking history together. Remember guys, there was still one person that hasn't been cleared from our suspect list just yet. And his name is Arjun. And when Denzel says that we have some history together, well, he's technically not lying. There was this one time where Arjun texted me because he wanted to show me some thumbnails of mine that he re-edited. So I agreed to meet up with him. But unfortunately, though the week that we had scheduled to meet up was a terrible one my laptop broke right before I was about to upload a new video and I mean if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys probably remember this story that I posted I got a couple people in my DMs being like oh you're just using this as an excuse to not upload all oh, this and that well you you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go fix the laptop I'm gonna edit it out then I'm gonna upload it then I'm gonna drink a beer get drunk and say 
you! Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much say that I had a mental breakdown. Anyways, because of that, I ended up ignoring my phone for a while, and well, you can say during that time, Arjun just blew it up. Kind of like how the heckler's blowing up my phone now, but not really. He was mainly just upset that we never got to our meeting and trying to figure out exactly what happened. But that's the history that Denzel is talking about. I mean, regardless, so we're gonna have to find out until tomorrow because he's not awake and we gotta go to sleep because it's late. Give me the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna no, text him right now. No. Give me the phone. No, what you got? What you got? Hey Siri, <laughs> message Arj. Oh, she ain't answering. She ain't answering. Okay, I'll message him asking him to meet up tomorrow because I gotta do that anyways. How about that? There we go. <laughs> okay. Could Arjun really have given my number to the heckler? I don't really want to believe it's true, but he is the last suspect on our list and he could have done so to get back at me for not meeting up with him and ignoring him that day. So I hit him up to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. We head home. I send the heckler one last final message and then we go to sleep. The next day, on the road, we went again, this time, to interrogate Arjun. Okay, we're currently outside the high school where my little brother goes to school with his friends. So, technically speaking, any one of these kids right here could be one of the children who are texting me. If our process of elimination proves correct, we are about to speak to the person who is responsible for giving the heckler my number. And soon after this interrogation, we will also learn the heckler's identity. First off, let me mention, I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? Can't lie to me, no matter what, don't lie to me, okay? And it's okay, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not, I'm gonna actually laugh so you can be completely honest with me, okay? I have a stalker or harasser, whatever you wanna call it. The reason we're talking to you right now is because I'm trying to figure out who's been texting me, who's been like nonstop, okay? So have you given my number to anyone else? Like have you, is there someone that you give my number to who might be pulling this and stuff or maybe no, have gotten have my no number off of you? Life. I have basically <laughs> Don't say that. Damn, okay, two things. Number one, I feel like a complete dick now, so everyone please go follow Arjun on his YouTube page. Number two, if it's not Arjun, then who is it? All right, just for confirmation for the viewers and everything, do you mind if I grab your phone and type in the number, see if you have anyone in it and sure. stuff or... Yeah. So Arjun cooperates and hands over his phone willingly. And like I did with everyone else, I go through it to search for the phone number that is texting me or any other texting app that he could possibly have on his phone. But in the end, nothing came up. And just like the rest, he was clear. Damn! Okay. So if it is not my little brother, not my little sister, not Michael, not Arjun, who the hell is it? It's me. <laughs> if it is not for you, give me your phone right now. No! Give me your phone right now. Not nude. <laughs> Yes, you guys heard that correctly. Denzel has nudes on his phone. Whose nudes? I don't know. Probably Thanos's. Anyways, with no more suspects on our list, we are officially back to square one with this whole operation, which means we are also now getting desperate. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Right now, since we have no leads, nothing to go off of, we are about to reverse phone look up this person's number. When you reverse look up a phone number, you are supposed to get the contact information of that number. So we're hoping to get the heckler's name out of this. Now you might be asking yourself, why didn't we do this since the very beginning? Well, here's why. It costs a whopping 95 cents. We're on a budget here. 95 cents goes a long way, but now we gotta do it. But it wasn't just the money that held us back, guys. We also didn't want to do this yet because we assumed from the very beginning that the number that was texting me was a fake number. But I mean, heck, at this point, it doesn't really hurt to try, does it? And just as we suspected, guys, it's fake. Wait, nothing came up? Nothing came up. No, it's saying it's from it's from Bland, Blandensburg, MD. I think that's Maryland. I don't know. And then it's also saying there's no social profiles, no personal details, no professional. There, there's nothing. It's a fake number. It's a 100% fake number. Okay, sure. The number isn't totally a fake number because obviously they're texting me from it, but it's clearly a spoof number. I mean, it literally says landline. Uh, the whole reason I made this video, guys, wasn't because I wanted to meet this person who was texting me. No, the whole reason I made it was because I wanted this person who's texting me to stop texting and harassing me and stuff. And I was hoping to accomplish that by figuring out who he was, giving him his attention, making a video around him. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm not gonna figure out who he is because I got no more hunches, no more leads, no more suspects. So I'm trying to figure out a plan in order for him to, to, to just leave me alone. <sighs> but coming up with something, guys, wasn't easy. Like, I know this was all my idea, but realistically speaking, how was I supposed to figure out who this person was by just asking yes or no questions when his number is a spoof number and everything about him could be fake? Like, honestly, can we really believe that this person has been being 100% honest with us? Like, what if it's not even a guy? Or what if he's not even under 18 years old? Or what if it is my younger brother or even my friend Arju? I'm realizing now that yes or no questions aren't gonna cut it anymore. I need a legit plan of attack now if I'm ever going to stop this harassment. So I thought and thought and thought and when I thought something hit me all right guys I think I got a plan. Okay. It turned out that it hadn't so I thought some more and more and more I need to cut. Yeah, cut. go ahead and cut
But finally, after a very long time, something finally came. All right guys, I think I legit have just come up with a perfect plan right now. You guys know about the legend of the Trojan horse, right? It was this huge wooden gigantic horse that the Greeks ended up building and gifting to the Trojans. And the Trojans accepted the gift and actually thought it was a gift. So they brought it into their city. However, what they didn't know was that the horse wasn't a gift. The Greeks were actually hiding inside of it and waiting for the right opportunity to hop out, ambush, kill, and take over the city of Troy. So because that plan worked so well for the Greeks, I'm gonna replicate it and Hopefully it works for me. However, the only difference is I'm not gonna give the heckler a big, huge wooden horse. I'm gonna be gifting him some merch. I just sent the heckler this message where I'm pretty much just placing myself at his mercy and telling him that I will gift him some merch. But again, what he doesn't know is that like the Trojan horse, this merch isn't really a gift. It's an ambush. It seems like it's working, guys. It seems like he's taking the bait. He said, so you're giving up, LOL. You always catch gold diggers, but you can't even catch me. Yes, I'm giving up. Take the merch. Bitch. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna write that. So I start placing my plan into action. I needed this guy to accept the merch, which I figured that he wouldn't be skeptical about, but after a couple of back and forth messages, he seemed decently interested. So now I just needed him to give me a shipping address. So I nonchalantly asked for it. But unfortunately, he was smarter than that and declined because this of course would mean that he'd have to give me his real name and real address. Okay, so this kid is a little bit smarter than I thought and it's not gonna be as easy, but that's okay. I got a plan B. So I then offered to drive the merch to him either to his house or near his house, but he declined that too. So I then offered other alternatives like having one of my friends drive it to him or just putting it in his mailbox or something. I also offered to take it to a school and I even offered to drop it off at his job if he had a job or his parents' job. All of which though, he declined, declined, declined. And I think it's because he knew that I could eventually learn his identity if he gave me any of that sensitive information. So I became annoyed and I put my foot down and I texted him in a very strict tone of the last thing that I could have think of. I told him that I was down to drop off the merch at a public location near me and then take a picture of where I left it. Then I will send him that picture, I'll head home, and then he can come pick up the merch when I'm gone. And just when every single speck of hope seemed lost, he became intrigued. Woo, okay, we are onto something here. I wanna turn up the pressure a little bit more, keep on seeming mad, and I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this happen tonight. So I send him my ultimatum. In one hour, I'm gonna be leaving the bag of merch out of store and then leave for him to come get it. However, I also let him know that if he tells me that he can't come pick up the merch tonight, then I won't be doing it and I'll just be blocking his number right then and there and be changing my phone number tomorrow. And I don't know if it was out of fear of permanently not being able to contact me anymore or if it was out of desire to get his hands on the sickest merch on YouTube, but he agreed. Wow! Okay! That's it! We got it! <laughs> we got it! He is down! He is down! Rally the troops! Let's do this! It's lit! It's lit! It's lit. <laughs> So the heckler has officially accepted my gift, but remember, it's not really a gift. Sure, the heckler thinks that I'm just gonna be dropping off the merch and then leaving for him to come, but in reality, I'm gonna be dropping off the merch and waiting for him to come. And when he does come, I'm gonna confront him. All right, look guys, at the end of the day, I could just let this guy just take the merch and hope that he stops taxing me, but to be honest, I don't trust that. And plus, this guy needs to be confronted. He needs to be told that what he's doing is not okay. And I forgot my freaking key, dang it. I head back to retrieve my key and then also send the heckler the location of the store where I'm gonna be dropping off the merch. However, I lied and I told him that I would be doing so in about half an hour. This would give us enough time to get there early and fully execute out my plan. Speaking of which, let me tell you guys exactly what it is. First, we're gonna drive to the Dollar Tree in two cars, not one. So I'm driving in this car, guys, and we have Leslie following right behind me driving in her car. When we make it to the store, I'm gonna be making two videos and sending them to the heckler. This is the first one. This is the Dollar Tree right next to Kyle at Fullerton. You're gonna make a left over here and I'm gonna leave the bag with all your stuff right there. Okay, I'm in my Tesla, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it right over there. I'm gonna shoot the second video after I place the merch at the spot where I want him to come. All right, man, dude, look, this is the behind of the Dollar Tree. I'm leaving the bag right there. There it is with the golden shovel and everything. And I am now leaving, taking off. I'm leaving, you see? Please stop messaging me, all I ask. I drive a little bit more, then cut the recording, and then send that video to the heckler. But now here's where the twist is. I hop out of the driver's seat, and my brother, who's been in the back seat this whole time, will now be hopping into the front seat. All right, guys, this is my brother, Josue, right over here. He's gonna be driving the Tesla home, and then I'm gonna go hop into Leslie's car, which is still parked over there. We're doing like a little switcheroo here and stuff. Come on. I can't run, I'm in chunk Come on, oh my lord. 
I guess you can say my plan is a reverse psychology plan. Remember, in the videos that I sent him, I specifically showed him and told him that it came in my Tesla. Well, now when he shows up, and if he's skeptical, he'll be on the lookout for that car. But like I said, that car isn't here anymore because my brother is driving it home and I'm hopping into Leslie's. So we made it safe and sound into Leslie's car. We're about to turn off the lights right now and just go freaking silent here and just wait and wait and wait and wait. I sent him a text message right now saying also, hey, let me know when you're on your way to grab the bag and stuff. That way I know what ended up in your hands. Hasn't replied to me yet, but hopefully he will soon. And yes. So the waiting game begins. And even though we didn't know exactly who we were looking for, thankfully it didn't take long before we started seeing some activity. Oh, we got a person walking up, a person walking up, a person walking up. Unfortunately though, we were at a public area. So that means we were bound to get random people who were just walking by. Nothing, they're, they're walking towards that direction, but not towards the bag, towards the Dollar Tree, because there's a Dollar Tree there. There's only one person in the world that knows the bag is there that is gonna walk towards the bag. And a couple of minutes later, that one person texts me confirmation that they are still coming. Okay, cool. I got response from him. He said, hey, I was getting ready and heading out in five. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be like, okay, sounds good, and then send him another video. The video that I'm about to send him right now is one that I pre-recorded at home to further add to the reverse psychology technique that we're using. Okay, I just made it home. I hope by this time you've already been on your way or on your way for the merch and everything, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the shirts. That was a pre-recording. Hopefully he falls for that and he thinks that I'm home. And so time ticks on, we continue to wait and the activity continues. All right, we got three other guys here. Oh, okay, this, is them. this is them, this is them, this is them, I know. Why do you come with three? But like I mentioned earlier, we're in a public area, so we're bound to see people just passing through. So this wouldn't be the only time that we saw someone and wondered if it was the heckler. Oh, we got another person right over here. We got another person. Oh. But every single time we would get super excited. Oh, they, they looked at the bag, they looked at the bag, okay. But at the end of the day, everyone was just walking by disregarding the bag. They look promising, but it's not him. And this continued to happen every time with people and even cars that would pull in and then just leave. Nope, just reversing and leaving. Gosh, damn it. What a tease, man. <laughs> I mean, what? To, okay, okay. You know, what, what if that was him and he saw the cameras or saw us through the tinted windows and then took off? <laughs> Again, the truth of the matter is that we just don't really know who we're looking for. Okay, we got a gentleman coming over here. No, this is not him. He looks too dressed up. He looks too dressed up for this to be him. He looks like a manager from somewhere. Yeah, he. This looks... can't be him. We had a very broad description, but no one so far even fit that description. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, what if this person has been lying to us about everything? Again, we think it's a little kid, but then like, what little kid is gonna be out this late? It's a school night. Right, that's Why what I'm saying. Video? That's what I'm saying. And to make it all worse, I put the cherry on top. The one time that I actually wanted this person to message me, he didn't. So what we thought was gonna be a quick and exciting sting operation ended up turning into an hour of absolute nothing. I'm starting to think, to be honest, like this person either doesn't exist or has been completely lying to us about like everything. Like, what if he's just like, doesn't even live in freaking Fullerton or in California or in the US for that much, you know? Dollar Tree is already closed. We've been here for about an hour-ish, maybe a little more, and I'm starting to lose hope. I really, 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 really am. There's a person walking and I'm not even excited anymore. I know he's just gonna walk past the bag. Doesn't fit the description, doesn't fit, yeah, yeah. Just keep on walking. We only have a couple minutes left on these SD cards, so we're probably just gonna like stake out here for like another 20 minutes, if that's okay, everyone? Yes? No. 20 minutes? Yeah. I mean, we've been here already for a long, might as well stick it through, right? If anything happens, True. for as long as we possibly can. True. Right? Yeah. And thank God we decided to stick around a little longer because things were about to get very, very interesting. We have suspicious activity yet again. Looks like a, no, that's, well, that's, that's not him. No, he's probably smoking. No, it's not. Okay, I know it sounds bad, but I initially thought that this guy was either doing drugs or selling them. I mean, he was just on his phone, kind of pacing around, almost as if he was looking for someone, but not to mention, he also didn't fit our description and wasn't even going towards the bag at all. He was literally just there for almost five minutes, but then. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What do I do? What do I do? Get out of the car, stay in the car, get in the car. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, can we talk to you? Oh shit, he's running. He's out. Excuse me, can we talk to you, please? Come on, don't be here to wait. Get out of the car! Hey, hey, come here! Hey, come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hey, hey, come here! Hey, hey, come here! I'm not gonna lie, this kid was actually fast. And there was actually a moment where I literally thought that we weren't gonna catch him, but we just kept on chasing. I didn't even realize that we left our camera girl behind though. I completely forgot that she was just wearing chanclas. Is that way for me? Jesus, Sadio! 
But finally, after an exhausting two minutes, the chase was coming to an end. At last, after days of harassment, five interrogations, and hours of trying to figure out who this guy was, it was finally time to learn the identity of the heckler and confront him. It's who? No! This whole time! No! It was you! That is right, guys. The person who has made my life a living hell and sent me message after message was none other than my friend, Martin. There's only one person that I know who is capable of doing this. Martin! And it's not you, 100%. No, no, that's not me. You have the wrong guy. You lied to me. You told me you were a little kid. Let me hold my breath in. <laughs> No! I knew it! I low-key knew you were lying to me! No. The way the way you spoke on the on FaceTime, I low-key knew you were lying to me. Hold on, I'll explain it. My hunches throughout this whole test were correct. I knew that I was being lied to and I strongly felt that the heckler was giving me false information this whole time. No, 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 no. I knew it was you, man. Loki! It was between you and Michael. I low-key thought one of you guys was lying to me. Call this way. Let me let me ask you this, why did you do it? You like doing that on your free no, time? No, you like texting no, no, me on no, your free no. time? Why'd you do it? Why, why'd you bug me? It is not me. I like, am not your stalker. I promise. Wait, wait, wait. What are you this, this is me messing with you, but I was not texting you. Okay, hold up. After getting caught legit red-handed, Martin right now is claiming that he is not my stalker. So I hit a full sway, uh -huh. and I told him, what are you doing? I wanted to go have a beer, have a go chill or whatever. And he told me he was helping you with the video. So that I had an idea. I was just like, all right, I'm going to go. I'm gonna drive over there and I'm gonna mess with him. And I said, what video are you guys working on? And then, uh, I listened to you guys right bro. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, this completely blindsided me. And I'll speak for Martin right now because he's catching his breath still. So he is claiming that supposedly tonight he wanted to hang out with my brother Josue. So he calls him up and asks him what he's doing. My brother then proceeds to telling him that he's actually helping me out with the stalker video and stuff and how we're sneaking out. So then Martin has this brilliant idea to get more details on exactly where we're at and then proceeds to messing and staging that he is a stalker. I mean, it's a great story, but does that even sound plausible to you guys? Perfect. <laughs> I told you that we were filming no. this video. This exact video. No, you, no, no, I, I, I can't pull. I can't no. bullshit. I can't bullshit. I'm the mastermind. I, no, I, I had this bullshit. all planned out. No, I can't, I can't send you. I don't, I, I'm not buying, I'm, I'm not buying this story. I'm not buying this. So I'm, I'm not, like, I'm a mess with I'm him. I'm not buying this. And why would I be here? Oh, because you're my it's fucking you. stalker. No, it's you. It's not, Let me not, see your phone. Yes, Show me your phone. Give me your phone right now. I'm not buying your story, dude. There's only one way to prove if Martin is or isn't lying. So I start going through his phone, and honestly, I don't know if I should have been mad or happy with what I found. Damn! I call him ever Damn! Since. What time did this you start? One, two, three, four, five, five calls to Josue. Okay, so he's been keeping in frequent contact with my brother. At least that much is true. However, this could just be a cover story still. So I start looking through his messages and to see if he has any texting app or something. I'm telling you. Martin, look why? For look, look for the app. I don't know which. Why? Why? It was Why would you? Yeah. No, well, why would you fucking pretend it was did, you? Did you operation? Yes, you did. <laughs> what if he literally just pulled up right now and just was looking for his bag? What then, huh? I have no explanation. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm gonna throw your phone, dude. You're you're gonna, me. No. Can I keep the merch? You find that much pleasure in messing with me? Yes. And you swear, like, on God, like, forget about just messing around and everything. I forget about it, everything. Like, put, put it down on your mom, on God, on okay, everything. Okay, I'm not gonna put it down on your mom. Oh, it is you, you see? What do you mean? It is you. Why would I put it down on my mom? Because if it's not you, then you can put it down on anyone or anything. No, it wasn't me, so you go. So put it down on your mom. Let I, me hear it and I'll believe you. Put it down on your mom that you're not the stalker. Wait, wait, kids. Say something now. I don't want to no, put it down on like chili cheese fries or beer. No, why or something. can't you put it down on your mom? If it's not you, then you can put it down on anyone. Okay, I put it down on mama. That and it wasn't uh, me. Say your mom, not mama. I put it down on mama. <laughs> So Martin is sticking to a story and because I couldn't find any concrete evidence against him in his phone I can't for certain say that he is or isn't lying But the one thing I can say for certain though is that this operation is now over Assuming that Martin is not my real stalker We just blew our cover and the real stalker could have spotted us by now This is it. This is the end. We're not continuing. We already lost recording space on one camera How's your camera doing over there? Losing it? He's dying over there. Um, we missed our chance. We missed our opportunity. Martin, 
Damn, dude. I'm still leaving this right over here because, you know, I want to fulfill my promise. I want him to see on camera, on video, that it's still there. And I just, please, just stop texting me. So I left the merch there just in case Martin wasn't lying and the real Sagar hadn't came yet. But like I said, unfortunately, I will never know for certain who it is now. I mean, for all I know, the real Sagar could be Martin, just that he's using a second phone or something and lying to me. Or maybe it is one of the people that have my personal number, including my siblings and my close friends. I mean, at this point, I just don't know who to trust or believe anymore. I can only hope that if he or she is watching this, they got a good kick out of it and stop seeking for my attention. But I mean, heck, I guess only time will tell, right? Hey guys, don't miss our huge holiday sale. Today, you guys can get one UD long sleeve, one keep digging shirt, and one UD side shirt for only $24.99. Or you guys can get our awesome shirt and our UD dad hat for only $12.99. Honestly, guys, this is our best sell yet, and we thank you for purchasing because it does really help us make more videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.